In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Wii U games on your computer using the Simu emulator. Now linked in the description will be this page right here for the Simu emulator. It'll tell you the system requirements, which are Windows 7 or above, OpenGL 4.5 or Vulkan 1.2. And it is recommended to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM for a better experience, but you can get away with four if that's what you're working with. But if we keep scrolling down, we'll download the latest experimental version, which is recommended. So let's click on that one. It'll bring us here. And if the assets are not open, click on the arrow and we're gonna grab the Windows zip file. Of course, if you're on Mac, you'll get the Mac file, but I'll be showing you guys how to do it on Windows. So let's download that one and we're good to go. You can exit that page and back on the original page. If you would like, you can check out the FAQ here if you run into issues or the compatibility for games, which would be useful if you do run into issues for different games. But now that we have the download, we can minimize that and open your downloads up. You do need an extraction software. I use WinRAR, but you can also use 7-Zip, it's free. And then in my case, I'm gonna be setting everything up on my external hard drive. That way I keep it all in one spot, nice and organized, and it doesn't take any space on my computer, but you can set this up anywhere you want. So here is my hard drive. As you can see, I already have Dolphin and Ryujinx already on there. So if you're interested in those videos, make sure to check the description on how to set those up. So let's start off by opening up the Simu zip file here. And now I have a dedicated folder for my emulator. So I'm gonna go inside of there. I'm gonna grab the Simu file folder rather and drag it inside, but you can Put this on your desktop, your downloads, any, anywhere you want really on your computer. So we're good, we got Simu, we can exit the zip file, we can delete it from our computer, we do no longer need it. Exit our downloads, and here is our Simu. Let's go inside, and there is the program that we're gonna run. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you that on my hard drive, in my games folder, I have a Wii U folder right here, and that has my games my updates, and my DLC. Now, if you're wondering where to get them, I do have a couple videos linked in the description where you can check out that can lead you into the right direction. But basically, I have these four games right here, and I have DLC, but I do suggest having all of your games, updates, and DLC organized into one folder called Wii U, and that will make the setup a little bit easier. But let's go back to the emulator folder, so Simu, and let's run simu.exe. And before I do that, I'm actually gonna make a shortcut. So I'm gonna right click, show more options, and create a shortcut right here. I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna go back to the root of my emulator hard drive and paste it there. So now I don't need to go inside of that folder in order to run Simu. I'm just gonna rename this. And now it's sitting alongside Dolphin and Ryujing. So let's run it, double click it, it will recognize that you're running it for the first time. And basically all we need to do here is tell Simu where our games are. So go ahead and click browse and locate where you keep your games. As I showed you before, they are on my hard drive in my games folder. So if you have your game set up in the same way that I do, just select your Wii U folder. But once you have your path, it's also suggested to download and configure graphic packs. So let's go ahead and do that. In the bottom here, just click download latest community graphics packs, exit out. And now we can click next to move on. And here we have an option to configure our controllers. And I will personally be setting up a third party Switch Pro controller. This is what I use for Ryujinx as well as Dolphin sometimes, but it'll also work on basically any Bluetooth controller you can connect to your PC. You can even use your keyboard if you really want to, but make sure it is connected to your PC. So I'm gonna add device, Bluetooth, put my controller in searching mode. There it is, and it's connected. So once you have it connected, now we can click configure input, just create your profile name, change your emulated controller to Wii U gamepad. This is just because Wii U games require at least one Wii U gamepad. Under controller, go to API, under API, we're gonna select SDL controller. Specifically, SDL will automatically detect motion controls. So this is what you can use for Switch controllers, DualShock 4 and DualSense controllers that have built-in motion controls. If you have an Xbox controller, you'll have to use X input and you won't have those motion controls. But you can, of course, use those controllers anyway. So select SDL if your controller has motion controls. Under controller, you should see the controller that you connected. So select that one and press add and we're good and it should automatically 
map all of your buttons, but if there's something different or you would like different mapping, just click on the button you wanna change and press it on your controller and you can go through. But once you've done that, just click save on your profile. So once you have your first controller, your emulated Wii U gamepad configured, you are good to play, but if you wanna add more controllers, you can go to controller two and do the same thing with your next one. If you're interested in using a Wiimote, I'll be covering that in another video. So make sure to check the description to see if I have it posted. There's a couple extra steps in order to get that one to work. But once you're happy with that and you've saved your profile, you can exit out. Back on this screen, you'll have the option to start games with full screen, operate separate pad screen, or automatically check for updates. I do suggest clicking on at least automatically check for updates, but you can select what you want. And before we move on, under these input settings, it's good to know that while in your game, you can press control to show your gamepad screen, control plus tab will toggle that screen, alt and enter will toggle full screen and escape obviously leave full screen. So those shortcuts are good to know as well. But once you have what you want selected here, just click close, it should run the emulator and, and since we told it where our games were, it will already have them inside. And we don't even have to install our DLC because well, it already indicates that it has been installed. So having that all in the same folder really helps speed up the setup. So there we go, I have my four games ready to be played. And if that wasn't the case for you, for your updates, your version and DLC, well, we can install them manually if we need to as well. So just go on to file, install game title update or DLC. And here you can go and find your files. So Wii U, DLC and Mario Kart 8 DLC, go inside and just click the meta folder and select folder, hit yes, and it will install. Now you will have to do this for each game, for each DLC and update. And there we go, install. Go ahead and do that for each game if your Simu didn't automatically associate them with the game. You can right click and refresh the game list. You can also change the icons, but list is nice because it also shows you different information. And now let's optimize our Simu to get the best experience. So we'll go under options. If you did not download graphics packs, you'll have the option to download it again. So for these games, let's see, we can download latest graphic packs, no updates available still, but that is how you download the latest ones. But back under options, go to general settings, go to the graphics tab, and here we can optimize our visuals when we are playing the game. So under graphics API, Vulkan will be a better experience, but if you do experience some lag or issues with it, try OpenGL and see if that's a little more smooth. But if your computer can handle it, I do suggest Vulkan. Under graphics device, it should automatically detect your graphics card. And under VSync, this will basically fix your screen tearing. So you can leave it off to start, but if you do experience screen tearing while playing your games, you can change this to double buffering or even more if you so wish. But I'm gonna leave it off for mine. But we're good there, we can exit out. And if you're wondering about playing online, I will also be covering that in a different video because you do need an actual Wii U in order to do that. But it is really cool when you can play online with your friends on your PC while they are on their Wii U using the Pretendo network, of course. So again, look in the description to see if I've made that video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for future videos for PC emulation. If you selected to show the gamepad in a different window, there will be another window for gamepad view right here. But there you go guys, that is how you set up Simu emulator on your PC, so I hope you're able to follow it well, and if you ran into any issues, comment down below, or you can join my homebrew Discord server linked in the description. If I helped you out today, please hit that like button, it really helps me out, and subscribe for more PC emulation videos. Stay funky, and happy modding. <laughs>